All right, guys, if you have seen my videos in the past, you already know that we heat the greenhouse with Christmas lights. And with the Christmas lights, we just string them up along the top. It looks really pretty. We end up with the greenhouse bubble with lights on the inside. Looks like some fancy glow, what are those, snow globes. That's what I'm after. So super pretty to look at and actually quite effective. It keeps the, we had tomatoes and peppers all kept alive through a pretty, pretty good freeze last year. So this year, who knows if we'll have the same freeze, but I am prepping my lights and putting them up. But I wanna show you guys a gadget that I use that makes them super, super easy to use. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the tree remote. Funny story, how I came to have one of these is that my mom sent them, she's so sweet, she sent them to me, well, sent me one for Christmas gift one year, and not realizing that she'd already given me one, the next year gave me another one. So I ended up with two of these tree moats. And essentially what they do is you would plug into this box, this one here, and like I would plug in my Christmas lights, which are just here, right there, I'd plug this guy in, and then I can turn on the lights from the remote. Now, if your greenhouse is on the side of your house, that may not be such a big deal, but for me, it's a fair distance away. Let's take a look. So there's the house, and over here is the greenhouse. So from that window right there, I'm able to use the remote and turn on the lights inside the greenhouse. So you might say like, why so lazy walk over and turn them on well it's not a matter of lazy at all it's actually a matter of sometimes it's just too cold i realize i'm a canadian in the south but we still actually feel the cold very much in the south so it's really nice to be able to do that right from the window from inside the house and then the other thing about it is actually that you can let your lights stay on much later so there's kind of a point when you're sitting in your house that you don't want to get up and do anything anymore like you don't want to go out and you know put your chickens away kind of thing you want it done by a certain time well it's no different for the lights so if you want to be wrapped up in their, your blanket and cozy you don't want to have to step out at 10 o'clock at night to turn on the lights so this can be done at the very last minute so just as i'm going to bed i can turn on the lights saving a bit of energy because i probably would have done it two hours earlier if i was all wrapped up and ready for bed so to me there's two benefits one it, it's the lazy benefit definitely for sure um, so i guess there's technically three so there's the lazy benefit there's the second benefit which is the fact that you don't have to go out in the cold to turn them on and thirdly that you can actually leave them off a little bit longer into the night just turning them on just before you go to bed so i think that's great better if you have a timer you could also get a timer and apply that science to it if you wanted to as well that probably be even more efficient but i kind of like the tree remote because some nights i don't need to turn these on at all i just it's actually many nights i don't need to turn them on at all so it's usually in these you know two or three days that we'll have a cold patch that i'll turn them on and then that's all i'll need it for so the tree moat works really well for that and these are available I believe on Amazon so I'll put a link down below if they're so here is the tree remote all hooked up and we're going to just connect the other end of the extension cord that brings the power in here and then I'm going to put a little Ziploc bag over top of it I'll show you it when we're done here and that's just to protect it from the moisture that seems to drip off the inside of the greenhouse I don't really want um, it to get wrecked so I'm going to put some Ziploc bag over it. I'll show you how it's done. Okay so now we have on our tree moat the box is on we've got the power hooked up so let's do a quick test of our lights to see we've got the remote the top one is on oh we've got some burnt out bulbs this is the first time I've used them this year there's a lot of burnt out bulbs <laughs> but you get the concept it works Oh, off is that one on is that one so we can do this from the house all right guys we are in the house I've just come in from outside it's starting to get dark out so I thought I'd show you how the Christmas lights are working in the greenhouse all right guys so here we are that's the greenhouse and you can excuse the little butterfly there that's to make sure birds don't hit the window and here's our little tree moat we're going to hit the off button and make those lights go out there we go it took a couple times but it does work and if we decide that we want them back on voila works perfect 
Awesome, guys. Well, that's my little tip, my garden gadget that is technically for your Christmas tree. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Have a great day. Be friendly. Be kind.